So I'll be showing you the step-by-step -step process of creating a bootable USB for Ubuntu 23.04, the new version. Now, obviously, the first thing you have to do is go to the Ubuntu website and download the ISO file. So go to your favorite web browser and then simply go to ubuntu.com. Click on the download section and then click on get Ubuntu desktop and then you should see the option to download Ubuntu 23.04. Click on that and it's going to download the image file. Now I've already done this step so I'll just skip it. The next thing you want to do is plug in a USB flash drive into your computer. Now this should have at least four gigs, maybe even eight to be safe. So this is mine, okay? And what you want to do is remove everything on that USB flash drive. So I'm just gonna quickly format mine and uh, just right click on the USB drive. You can see my capacity is 32 gigs. File system, preferably you want FAT32. And you can just do a quick format. So do that, click okay and allow the flash drive to be formatted. There you go, so format is complete. The third thing you want to do is, again, go to your favorite web browser, and then you want to download a tool called Rufus. This tool is the one you're going to use to convert the image file, the Ubuntu image file, into a USB bootable drive on the USB flash drive. So go to Rufus, R-U-F-U-S. You can just uh, do a quick search of Rufus. Here you go. So Rufus create bootable USB uh, drives the easy way. So this is a Rufus homepage. What you want to do is scroll down a bit under download and download something, uh, whatever you want. So we want to download the standard version of 64 bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on the first link here. Might see ads from time to time. You can just uh, bypass those. And from the dialog box, select where you want to save Rufus. I'll just keep mine in the downloads folder. So once Rufus has finished downloading, you can now access it from wherever you, you saved yours. Mine was in the downloads folder, so I'll just access it from there. We go to File Explorer, go to Downloads, and here's Rufus. So go ahead and double click on this file. Now let me close the browser because we don't need it at this point. And here is my Ubuntu image file which I downloaded earlier. And here's Rufus. So let's double click on Rufus. Click on Yes if you are prompted. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? Click on Yes. And so as you can see, Rufus has launched. Let me just close everything else. And it's ready to get working. So at the top there, it says device. So what you want to do is select the device and it's gonna automatically detect my USB flash drive as drive E. Now make sure you select the correct USB flash drive in case you have more than one plugged in. And then it's going to go to boot selection. Do you want a, a disk or ISO image? There's that. So let's select the specific ISO image or image file. So click on select and then go and find why you saved your Ubuntu image file. Here's mine and click on open. Okay. Now. Now we are almost ready. So those are the two most important things. Select the correct USB flash drive and then select where you saved your image file. And it says it's going to format the USB flash drive and it's going to rename it and call it Ubuntu 23.04. It's going to remain as FAT32 file system and everything seems to be ready. And all you have to do now is click on start. So it says the image you've selected is an ISO hybrid images. 
this means it can be written either on iso image file copy yeah 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 so just click ok this image uses uh, gravit application only includes installation of files so just uh, click on yes and as you can see so it says all data on the device is going to be erased which is fine because you already did that so click ok and now the process has begun okay so it's currently uh, taking that ISO image file that we downloaded from Ubuntu and using Rufus creating a bootable USB flash drive from the flash drive we just plugged in so don't turn off your computer don't pull out the USB flash drive just wait for this process to complete it might take a while so grab a cup of coffee or juice or whatever and wait for this process to finish so the preparation is complete just click on start it's, act it's actually done so the process is complete so just click on close and now let's go to file explorer and look for our usb flash drive there you go it's called now ubuntu 23.04 and we have our installation files inside the usb flash drive so this usb flash drive is now ready to install or run a live uh, portable version of ubuntu thanks for watching Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.